very exciting as it's getting closer to the opening of Paddington. I feel like it's an honour to be able to make their iconic marmalade sandwich for the new attraction which is opening. All of the products which we're making for them, we made the recipes ourselves. So I, I love the store which has just opened, uh, how they've gone about incorporating the theme of everything. They gave me a tour of the attraction, uh, which was really nice. We just had a little chat last week about the specifications of the marmalade sandwich. So yeah, we're all set to go really. What I've been working on with the soba is working on getting the water and flour the right quantity because I was finding a lot of times that it was getting that it was sticking quite a lot to the rolling pin. So it's just getting that right balance between the flour and water, which I think I've got right now. I managed to get hold of here in London some of the equipment used for making soba. So I got the, the mixing bowl, which is like quite a heavy duty bowl, which is good for sort of the mixing and the kneading of it, the beginning. The rolling pin is also a certain length and it's also very thin and I think it's, it's all very necessary for the technique you use when you're rolling it. You're supposed to hold the rolling pin like a cat. Basically move it from the outside of the rolling pin in. This basically helps to roll the dough evenly. So that motion which, which I was practicing helps to create because the dough goes so thin when you're making a noodle you have to make sure the whole across the whole circumference of the dough is the same thickness which is very difficult to do and very difficult to master i mean that along with obviously it not sticking as it goes so large the dough is very difficult to, to do The knife and the wooden block used for cutting are very specific as well for making noodles. Basically, you have to hold the knife um, with your finger pointing down. You have to have your body straight while you're holding the uh, wooden block. You tilt the knife against the wooden block to move it and you slowly sort of do that as you move along to cut the noodles. And the noodles are supposed to be below 1.3 millimeters in order for them to be sober. Yeah, it's, it's different for udon and sort of ramen noodles, but for soba it needs to be specifically below 1.3 millimetres, which is very, very thin. <laughs> I think I am improving as I'm going along. Definitely the rolling technique and getting the dough even I'm getting better at, which makes a big impact on the final noodle because first of all you have to get the entire dough even in order to get all of the noodles even. I've been getting people in the bakery to try my noodles to see what they think and see uh, what the general feedback is that I get. I think I need to alter the cooking time a little bit, but I think generally people are quite enjoying the noodles when I've given it to them. It's been great to see people trying it. People had a lot of questions about it and I felt like they wanted to know more about sober. <laughs>